Welcome back to Fallout in Vegas. Let us continue. Now, last time, I promised that we would start the DLC uh, Honest Hearts and, well, here we are. Now, this gentleman, he is Jeb. Jed. Jed Masterson, yeah. He's the main guy, so let's talk to the others first. First of all, well, looks like this little gentleman has, he's got a yeah. bolt suit and even a pig boy. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. Just watch your ass around me. You do anything around here besides talk too much? You want to know what I do, bud? Anything I fucking want. I'm one of a kind. I've been places, see, and done things. Lots of them. And when it's time to kill shit up, hell yeah, I'm a fucking storm of death. Something or someone make the mistake of crossing Ricky? I'll fucking dead eye him, her, or it. In fact, yeah, in fact, that's my nickname. Dead Eye Ricky. That's my name. Dead Eye, huh? How did you get that nickname? Uh, how you think? I shoot things in the eye. That's how good I am. <laughs> I'm that good. Why, uh, once I got jumped by three death jaws. Except, actually, it was four of them. Imagine that. But I didn't panic. Because, because I never panic. What I did was become a storm of death. Shot every one of them monsters pop in the eye. Death jaws, huh? Did you mean to say death claws? No, no, you heard me right. Death jaws. They're like death claws, but bigger teeth. Or there was the time one of them Steel Brotherhood assholes made the mistake of messing with me. Last mistake he ever made. You're saying that you killed a Brotherhood of Steel Paladin? <laughs> please go on this. Oh, please go on. This promises to be entertaining. I was walking along, minding my own, and up pops one of them brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. So I hand it over, just to make him think I'm scared. But really, I'm not. I never am. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter machine gun and bam, bam, right through the eye slit in his helmet. DOA. Uh-huh. Well, too bad there's no such thing as a 11 millimeter submachine gun. There so is. Or was a 9 millimeter? Or a 10? I don't know. Don't care. Said I was good at killing shit up. Never said I was good with numbers. Do you have any other special skills or abilities? I grew up near Dayglow out west, so yeah, I grew a third nut that glows in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see you're wearing a pit boy and a vault suit. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. So what? So, uh, where'd you get the vault suit? Where the fuck you think? Vault 2-2. Two -two. That's where I grew up. Really? Where is Vault 2 that you located? I can't tell you that. I have a sworn vow of secrecy. Or something like that. To all the people I left behind. Oh, you're lying. You have no idea what, where Vault 22 is. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. You caught me. I may have been exaggerating a little. 
truth is, I got this suit and the pit boy off a dead prospector who came out from Zion. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. That's how I know there's good loot in Zion, see? So, what do you use the pit boy for? Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? Jed says it's got masked shit like that. So that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Well, did you know this? I'm wearing a pip boy too. Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. I don't think your pit boy works. I better go and tell Jed. Go ahead. Your word against mine, fucko. See what happens. I'm convincing you're not. You believe me. Hey, hey, hey. Why you gotta go and be like that? Fuck. Look, this is a sweet gig for me. Don't go fucking it up. What are you after anyways? What I want. Ah. Mm. Carry some of my gear, and I'll keep my mouth shut. have a light on purpose okay but fine i'll tell jet i'm carrying less so you can carry more what an asshole. yeah whatever all right oh uh, yeah i'm gonna put everything to science We'll keep that moving up, little by little. Aside from that, well... Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. So, what are you doing here? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. So, what was it like to grow up in New Reno? Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Okay. Tell me about Caliente. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town, drunk off his ass, trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. Well, in my experience, shotguns, they tend to win arguments. But I digress. So, where the 80s, a gang or a tribe? What's the difference? 
Raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off yeah. two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them, so we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. So, what do you know about the White Legs? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Right. Catch you another time, then. And the third guy. Well, we do now have a kind of a larger allowance for carrying stuff, so... I mean... We could go and collect, maybe take some more stuff before talking to Jed. Maybe like some crafting materials and but then again then again we'll just you know we'll just the, the, we'll just uh, but then again you know it's not like it's not like the Zion rallies uh, you know, not gonna lack. It's not. Gonna, it's not like it's gonna lack stuff that you know for us to collect. So. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yep. Yeah. You look the type. <laughs> what do you mean I look the type? In your broadcast, you just said that you're not looking for some serious slicker, and here's this guy, you know, wearing all kind of pre-war clothing and a. Uh, hat and sunglasses like literally looking like i just came from you know a casino um so i haven't been to uh, i haven't been through utah recently what's the situation like it ain't good i'll tell you that it's not like the mojave or the ncr <laughs> Even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You've got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Uh, tell me about the raiders. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy. Jacked up on Kim's, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. What do you mean, degenerate tribes? That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really got to watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. How about the Warlords? How dangerous are they? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. I had some other questions. Dude. So... I understand this caravan is headed to Zion. What can you tell me about the area? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. 
The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Okay. Tell me about the Happy Trails Caravan Company. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown, up in the northern part of the NCR. Run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Uh, so, why can't you get to Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway is too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. What can you tell me about New Canaan? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The new Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself, or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Do you know anything about their religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own, and they're damn fine marksmen, too. So you don't know what happened to their mission? Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. I had some other questions. Dude. So, tell me about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design. Plus another bonus if we reach new Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Who is Joshua Graham, and why should I, why shouldn't I talk about him? Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful, uncomfortable, and it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. All right. Well, let's go. I'm ready. Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now. And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Well, why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. All right. Well, I'm ready. Let's head to Zion. You sure about that this time? We ain't coming back for a while. Yes, I'm sure. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the new Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief 
The Malpace Legate was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn legion. The new Canaanite wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure could be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. That Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks, but here we are. Zion, I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired, but I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Um, and then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's Pip-Boy over there. And I'm lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? It's not a problem. Fuck off, I'm busy. Well, you're a friendly one. Hold on now. I swear I heard something up there. What? Ambush. Where are they? I don't think the others quite made it. Now, that was an unexpected turn of events. Well, we'll see. Well, that's good. It's a sub 9 mil submachine gun. Hatchet, huh? Hatchets and Tomahawks. Ah, oh, I'll leave them be. Maybe if we had the cowboy perk, you know. With a character with the cowboy perk, then I'd be definitely collecting all this. Weapon binding ritual. But I'll stick to the so-called grunt weapons. Jeb. 10 mil? Well, 10 mil sell for a decent amount of cash. Food, water, mm. now, I mean, I might as well take some ammo, we can, necessarily we can like break this ammo for crafting components. Huh. 
Hydra. Lever action shotgun, huh? Surgical tubing, skill magazine. Lever action, huh? Well, I suppose it has some value. Might as well take something for dirty water. Yeah, fishing battery. Well, ammunition at least does not have weight, so surgical tubings, yeah, they can be handy. I'll leave the laser pistol alone. Oh, oh good, there's some 40 millimeter grenades, a grenade launcher, so. This is a different weapon to grenade rifle. I'll leave the leather arm alone. It's well, Ricky. I guess you got what you have. Well, yeah. Keep your vault suit, Stella, huh? Laser pistol, laser rifle, recharge a pistol. Ah, uh, recharge a pistol. Huh? I, mean, I suppose if I fix these, they'd be somewhat valuable and you could sell them maybe for decent amount of caps, but. I'm sure we'll encounter enough. All right, should probably uh, make a save. Yeah, not a 10 mil. So I said I'll leave like hatchets and tomahawks. They're not really the type of weapons that we use, so. Hunting rifle, yeah. Well, there's clearly someone in there. You might notice me if I just... Okay, maybe they're looking away. No. Just when I go there, you know, to kind of, just when I move this a little bit closer, so I can get, you know, Well, he's probably not cautious yet. I mean, yeah, now that his friend is dead. It's probably going to be like permanently, you know, in caution. Because he, he will keep seeing the... Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I don't... Uh... Oh sweet that was that was a good shot. Okay. Oh, I think this must be this must be ours. Well, 43 auto and no, for, no, 45 auto and 45 magazine. Hunting rifle, yeah. Ah. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, that's doesn't seem to be shooting at me. White legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. Who is Joshua? Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. I guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. All right, let's go. Good sists. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. Follows Chalk has given you the well stacked canes perk. While Follows Chalk is in your party, reaching any summit in Zion Valley, such as ranger stations, it will reveal all nearby map markers and inspire a heightened state of awareness. Plus three perception for three minutes. Yeah, gather some banana yucca. Nevada agave fruits. See that log over there? Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. This one? Oh, you're right. It is hollow. Hollow. Looks like someone stuffed a prickly pear fruit there. All right. Path for a while. Nice view of the river. Yeah. <laughs> Meh. Meh. 
Oh, what the hell is that? That was some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all full of gecko, eh? <laughs> Don't get used to it, though. Yao Guai are plenty mean as a rule. Mm, I'm sure. Take the path north here if you want, or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff, if you want to look. Mm. What about that Yao Guai? Where is that? It's a cub. If that's a cub, that was a big one. The one we just saw. That was a big one. So, where's the big one? That means there must be at least two of them here. Where's that other Yao Guai? I just saw it somewhere over here. So where did it go? Ghost. Right. Yeah. Well, that was the cup. Where's the big one? Have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh? Well, there's all kinds of nasty things there. Oh, that is the head.
Mm. Yeah, it's right back to regular album. The skeleton. Clean water. Okay, I think after the bush there's uh, there's a steep drop, so just a little bit of drained energy cells, efficient battery and okay. Oh, this is, is this hollow? More. Nevada agave. Hmm. Yeah, that's the that's the yogurt. So I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me. Can't wait. <laughs> Well, I suppose there's a silver lining in everything. Quick prepare fruits. Well, let's put down my rifle. It's kind of in the way. Yeah, I think one of my old character ideas was to play a character who used to be an overseer of a vault. Maybe some more smaller undisclosed. Road south. Nearly there. Don't remember what the build was about. What kind of character? Or it was going to be some kind of, you know, conduct run with maybe some special rules. Don't know. I've been playing this game for so long and obviously had about a million and a half different ideas for characters. Some of those have you know, used and played the game extensively with these 
finishing the main quest and DLCs and but let's have a look does this give us a okay I guess this does not count as like a view Let's see. Did we come from there? Possibly. Gunshots, huh? Oh, that's a dead horse. Taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. Right. Oh, hi. Hmm. Maybe he wanted to come and say thanks for, you know, assisting. Something down there. Sentries? Shamans say our enemies' souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says it shows we're serious about fighting white legs. Mm. 
giant red scorpion, yeah. We'll go there eventually. Hmm. I mean, I am new in... I'm new to this place, so... I'm just curious to see what's here. You know, getting the lay of the land, so to speak. Oh shit. Yeah. Casadors. Yeah, I take everything because there's also a stealth boy in there, so that's good. Okay. Yeah. It's a giant one. Potato crisps. Forty-five pistol, nice and forty-five ammo. Steam coach assembly, gun case. Cowboy repeater, huh? Right, so but probably learned some new locations because we came to a it's dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places, places from back when. Well, that's good, if you don't believe it, yeah. Maybe I should start using a hunting rifle. I have a feeling I could probably use the bit more powerful version of... I mean... Oh, but then again, I should probably just try to utilize those specialized ammo more. So maybe use armor piercing rounds against scorpions, you know. Especially the giant ones.
Well, okay. Eight gun, huh? Right, so the dead horses camp is there. Zion Valley Welcome Booth. Hang on, you're going the wrong way. This is called exploration. Well, there doesn't seem to be too many hostiles in here, but you never know. Well, maybe we can relax just a little bit. Okay, have more. Jet, no, uh, camps, free more money. Pre-war spring outfit. Yeah, I'll take that so I can, if necessary, repair my clothes with that one. Spring outfit. Right, so Zion National Park. All oh, right, yeah, bullets, medical supplies, empty bottles. Which can be handy if you know, if you have a knack for crafting, such things can be handy. Black coffee. Yeah. I'll make, I'll make some coffee. Sure. Mesquite, banana yucca. Oh, that's follows chalk. Yeah. Eastern Virgin. Lots more of them since Joshua came to us. Cape Bungus, huh? Yeah.
Right, uh, campfire. Yeah, cave fungus. All oh, right, I'm, I'm getting kind of full here. Let's have a look what we carry. Well, maybe if I fix one of the rifles. Fresh pair, huh? It's in the water. Got to keep the white legs out somehow, eh? Well, I guess we need to be careful. Well, at least it's shallow water and it's very clear so uh, it's not too difficult to see them in fact it's they're almost useless Throwing a spear, huh? Falling rock cave. Joshua's just ahead there in the angel cave. Okay. Angel cave. Dead Horses Camping. I guess they're practicing fighting. Oh, doing push ups. Angel Cave. All right. Hoi. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. Um, what? Show respect, Auslander. Joshua Graham, greatest mm. war chief. Uh, 
Well, first you gotta learn to how to speak English. You know, the language of civilized people. Well, there he is. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting. But I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group. But you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion. Even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. How do you know so much about what happened to me? The dead horses are capable scouts. Nothing passes into or out of Zion without my hearing of it. Well, I came here with the Happy Trails Caravan Company to make contact with the new Canaanites. Happy Trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed. Its citizens scattered, all because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the new Canaanites, almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other new Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now. Not with everything that's going on. No, I'm not sure if this is completely, you know, in accordance to my character, but, well, for the purposes of the narrative, I'm not going to leave without offering to help. What can I do? Maybe we just realized that, you know, we're probably going to need to do a couple of favors for them before they will help, you know, us to get away from here. You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need three war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses of Soros look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. Taboo? The Soros believe in a spirit that lives in the caves. Say the spirit punished them once for trespassing. They put special marks around the cave entrances to keep people out. It doesn't work on the white legs, of course. But the dead horses are spooked. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Follow Shock can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Right. Terrace trap. Workbench.
right reloading bench let's see if i break down these i'll get rifle powder and large rifle primers powder pistol large pistol and small pistol primer okay So let's see what do I need large pistol primers to make these, huh? And I do have enough skill. Okay, so if I'm let's see, I have 39 casings, so I can make more 45 ammo. But I need large pistol primers and pistol powder. Let's see. Well, this is at least pistol powder, so. And the 44 Magnum rounds that I have, how many do I have? Probably not sure how many I have. This will at least give me large pistol primers that I need. Right. Okay, so I can get 20. So I can probably now make, yeah, more like 20 of these. Good. What else can I break down? 30, 38, 3. 357. Well, it probably could make, can probably make like a 9mm rounds from small pistol primers. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I could either make like 12 gauge shells or some more 9mm. Yeah, I can only make like 33 rounds of this. How many? Oh yeah, with a bit more pistol powder, I can make the box shots. The slug. Oh yeah, this is just more accurate, these slugs, okay. Don't go to box slots, so. All right, because I only have like eight hulls for. Okay, that's. Let's still make nine mil rounds. Thirty-three, huh? Pistol powder. Um. Let's see. Well, 50 times 6 would be 300. So, yeah, so this is not going to spend all of my... I will still be left with some pistol powder if I make... Sure. Right. Doing some actual scouting. Not Welcome back. What can I do for you? Oh. Uh, what did you say about a courier? Who were you expecting? Caesar would never admit this openly. But he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentari and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. But maybe this one survives. Pray, God? What are you talking about? I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. 
In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. The day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Huh. Well, if you say so. Whether there is a God or not, his existence doesn't depend on what you believe or what I say. There is much to be skeptical of in this world. So it no longer surprises me to learn how many people don't really believe in anything. But I believe that our Lord was made flesh as Jesus Christ and died to redeem me and you and the sorrows, even the white legs, everyone. Right. Oh, nice guns. In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of course, the dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use is a new Canaanite rite of passage. The good old 1911. So, I'm guessing you run the show around here. I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is the spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. So what's going on with all these tribes? A great deal. There are three, make that four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We're new Canaanites. <clears throat> so why did the white legs attack by caravan? They attack everyone who isn't a white leg, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. So do they speak our language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees from a place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. For time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. Does the valley belong to the dead horses? The valley belongs to God, but no. The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I return to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I look much different then. But I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I return, they showed their appreciation. So why haven't I seen any sorrows in the valley? The sorrows have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaogwai, they don't know how to deal with the white legs. That's why we're here. Well, in my experience, killing animals and killing people, they... It's not really that different. The only difference is that the other one is 
sometimes slightly smarter than the other one and I'm not sure which one so are the new Cadenites really a tribe we wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology but we're still a tribe a linked family of families the boneyard Phoenix New Vegas they're just places metal and stone new Canaan dies but the tribe lives on when the walls come tumbling down when you lose everything you have you always have family and your family always has tribe okay let's talk about something else of course so i don't suppose you have anything to trade we do though the white legs destroyed new canaan they didn't destroy all of our supply caches all forms of currency are recognized here caps ncr dollars even legion coin take a look right doesn't have too much in the way of money but let's see could probably use okay you have at least well, let's see. Grenade launcher. Huh? Well, it's enough that I have the grenade rifle, so... Let's just see what we can trade in exchange for that. Lever action shotgun. Possibly the hunting rifles. Now... Could probably use at least one extra pistol. I could use the, the the modifications for the pistol. Could probably use the. But what if I buy one of these? Okay, so that's already much more than okay okay 45 uh yeah compressor so it reduces spread and drums increases ammo capacity right Forty-five hollow points. Yeah, I think I could probably use those. So regular ammo and hollow points. Oh, he sells primers too. For yeah, I could definitely use. I think like the large pistol primers. Yeah. And maybe if I need to create some more 9mm ammo at some point, so small pistol drivers, yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah, anything here I want to trade. All right, then maybe like, of course, like this energy weapon ammo. I'm still paying you tight sum. I could use the missiles as currency, I guess. Oh, and I already sold you the rifles to deny, so I'll. Ten mil rounds. Now, ten rounds might also give me large pistol, large pistol primer. So I'll keep. Yeah, I think I'd rather keep some pistol ammo on I me. Mean. Missiles. So this is. Oh, 
Or I could just wait until I collect more weapons and then come and... Yeah, trade all the NCA dollars. I mean, then again, I don't think I'll ever actually be using a missile launcher, so why not? I could sell the kind of poison glands. Uh, is there something in here? I oh, I guess I could sell the the water. Sure, it's kind of heavy and not that necessary. Because this is not a hardcore mode. I don't actually need to like drink to survive. Poison glands. Do you want to sell? Actually, like, actually, I think I'd rather keep glands so I can possibly make some, maybe like anti venoms and. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm making a couple. I got all sorts of goodies and I'm still making a couple of hundred uh, caps, so nice. Yeah, that'll do. So, can I ask you some personal questions? Right now, I'd like you to focus on helping Daniel. Maybe there will be time later. Okay. God be with you. Just fine. Right, so yeah. Huh. I'm going to use a weapon repair kit. I want this pistol to be in really good condition. Yeah. Then I'll put the silencer and the slide. Order submachine gun. Yeah, drums. And compressor, yeah. Nice. And We'll put the pistol here, yet yeah, it's a good weapon. Right, so. Joshua Graham. Now we haven't, of course, we haven't really had too many dealings with the Legion yet. And certainly we, like, we have never learned about, you know, the legends of the burned man and things like that. So, for us, it's, we don't really know who this guy is. We don't really know his history. Okay, fungus root. Sex. Survival cash, yeah. Yeah, so there's got to be like six of these spread out. <laughs> Mm 
Yeah, survivalist's bounty. So try to find all the six survival caches. It's a little little mini challenge thing that the game provides. On this DLC. Oh, nice. Yeah, they didn't notice. Yeah. Yeah, cave fungus. And kind of in the base game, if you will. You can only find these as kind of random items, like every here and there. But this is the only place where you can where they actually grow. Zion Valley. Yeah, no need to. Right, well, let's see campfire. What can we make? Healing poultress. Restore them condition and agility minus one and heals. Cave fungus. Okay, let's back, go back to the cave and collect as much cave fungus as we can find. Because the end product is actually very lightweight, so... Okay, let's go back outside to the campfire and make some healing poultries. Oh, I guess I must have missed that. Oh, Joshua Graham came outside. Okay. Yeah, we can make nine. Right. So. Yeah, so I would say this is enough for now. When we come back, we'll continue exploring the Zion Valley. And, of course, yeah, we do have jobs to do, but might actually want to do a little bit of maybe extra exploration as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time, and goodbye.